Summer nights, and it's actually a hot one tonight in Central North Carolina. Great for being outside and doing some stargazing. And the next few nights, don't be surprised if you see some bright streaks of light moving across the skies. A meteor shower will be at its peak. Storm Team meteorologist Rachel Dunzing shows us the best way to view it. As we enjoy the last few nights of summer, maybe want to head outside and look up. And look up because we have, are we now approaching the peak of the Perseid meteor shower? Peaks early tomorrow morning, Thursday, as well as Friday morning. The best times to view this meteor shower in between midnight and 5 a.m. If you don't want to stay up late or get up early, you should still be able to see these meteors darting across the sky pretty much as soon as the sun sets and, of course, before sunrise. And when you see those meteors, if you're lucky, you could see around 50 to 75 of them every hour. And and you want to look to the north, especially toward Perseus and Cassiopeia, those constellations, because that's where it looks like the meteors are going to originate. And you should be able to see plenty of them because the moon, it's only a sliver right now, about 10 to 20 percent full, because it's coming out of the new moon phase. So here are some best practices when it comes to viewing any meteor shower, but especially the one that's going to be peaking here in the next few days. First things first, get away from light pollution. Drive out of town, find a nice dark area that is unobscured, and you'll be able to see plenty of those meteors as they dart across the sky. But you want to make sure you pack some patience and give yourself about one hour. And the reason we say give yourself an hour is it takes at least 20 minutes for your eyes to adjust to the darkness. And then after that, just hang out, maybe pack a blanket or a nice comfy lawn chair, and just get a look at that sky. Because once you sit there long enough and your eyes adjust, you'll be able to see plenty of those meteors really skirting quickly across the sky. Now, of course, we tell you to look for the constellations because that's where it looks like these meteors originate. But if you can't find them, it's no big deal. No matter where you look in the sky over the next few nights and the next few mornings, you'll be able to see those meteors. And the meteors, fun fact, are actually debris from a very specific comet, as are every meteor showers that we deal with multiple times a year. And to know more about that comet, and of course, we break down these best practices for you. If you want to do a little more reading, you can head on to CBS17.com, check out the story, and we'll break it all down for you. In the studio, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS17. I learned something there. You did? I did learn something there. And you know, I will tell you the truth. In my entire life, I've never seen a meteor shower. Really?